UIT Sports, everybody. Happy Friday. It's time to play a fun new game I literally just made up called Who is Dumber? Uh, the NFL for banning Beats headphones, Beats headphones uh, or Todd Gurley, running back, possibly the best running back in the country in college football for Georgia, uh, suspended indefinitely uh, for... Uh, by the University of Georgia, while well, school investigates what is described as an alleged violation of NCAA rules. Gurley, who rushed for 773 yards and eight touchdowns in five games, is regarded not only as the Bulldogs' best player, but also a frontrunner for the Heisman Trophy. Uh, he's being suspended for basically signing autographs and getting paid for them. I think he was charging like eight to twenty-five dollars per autograph. Very odd price. Uh, but okay, college football players, especially. Heisman candidates and best running backs in the country, you're going to get drafted. You're going to, and you're not going to be a seventh round last second pick if you're that good. You're going to get drafted, sign a mega contract, and you can give out all the autographs that you want. Now, what's really frustrating about Todd Gurley is, in any of these college athletes that are this good signing autographs, they're not doing it for the fans, they're doing it for money. And that's a little pathetic because, you know, the whole point of giving autographs, I would hope that the whole reasoning behind it is so these NFL players and all these professional athletes can meet fans, you get to make usually a little kid's day, uh, take a picture with them, whatever it be, but this guy signing footballs or jerseys and selling them for what, eight bucks, $25? Is it really worth it? You have a meal plan on campus, you're probably one of the biggest stars at Georgia, maybe the biggest star in the entire state of Atlanta, uh, barring Matt Ryan. Uh, and of course, Chipper Jones, the Atlanta Braves. But stop, it's just ridiculous because it, it, it's, it, you're gonna be making tons of money when you are this damn good at football. I totally get if some you know, nose tackle for some division two school is trying to sell his jersey and get eight bucks a piece because he might not get drafted in the NFL. Not that it makes it okay, but uh, you know, it's just it, these, it's not uh, legal yet. I take a little bit of a different take on that because, you know, on the one hand, you know, these guys should know better at this point. I mean, they've seen enough people get caught for autographs. Like, if you're going to get caught, get caught for something else. Like, don't do the same thing that everybody else has gotten caught for. Like, you should know it's coming. On the flip side, you know, a lot of these guys come from, you know, very low income backgrounds and they really just don't have the money for their day to day life. Like, they don't have enough money to eat the way that someone should be eating if they're going to be practicing and playing as hard as they possibly can. And then, of course, the NCA is just absolutely ridiculous, which with the, you know, autograph stuff. I mean, it, it really isn't fair that the NCA can make so much money off of these kids. You know, their programs at these schools can make so much off of these kids. And yet, if they need $400 to eat and live, they're going to be suspended and have a black mark on their, their record for the rest of their life. So I don't know if the stipend thing is, is the answer because I know there's talk about giving some of these guys stipends um, because then you're making college directly for money, which isn't what it should be all about. But they have to figure out a way to get money to these kids without having them need to do something illegal and kind of ruin you know, what is someday going to be a big college, uh, big professional career. Right. I agree with that point, in, but only until it is legal. Until the NCAA says, sure, go sell your jersey for 25 bucks. But it, it, Todd Gurley is now suspended indefinitely, and if he doesn't play the rest of the season, or even Georgia loses a game or two or three, now they're not going to be in the playoff contention. He's only hurting himself. And yes, a lot of these players do come from low-income families. I understand that. Uh, but. A lot of the facilities that they're offered as a college athlete, and they do have meal plans. And yes, maybe they can't go and get a nicer meal because they're going to sit with dining hall food. I get that. Makes sense. Um, but it's not like they can't eat. It's not like they're on the street and homeless. They have their amenities at school. I mean, athletes at all these schools are treated uh, better with more priority, especially in the Division I college football schools like Georgia. Uh, so. Until it's legal, until the NCAA finds an answer, which they absolutely need to do, because I could not agree more, these guys should have some sort of compensation for making the schools millions of dollars year in and year out, uh, stop 
getting caught with it. It's like it's maybe they need to figure out like a new way. Right. Like maybe University of Georgia should be allowed to, you know, make Todd Gurley a quote unquote ambassador where like, you know, once in a while he goes into the bookstore and sells T shirts at, you know, four hundred dollars a pop. <laughs> uh, you know, with his signature on the back. I mean, at least then it's regulated through the university. But they have to come up with some more creative ways to allow these guys to make money that aren't necessarily illegal and can be approved by the NCAA because I mean, you know, we're losing our best college players in the middle of, you know, their seasons, and it's going to start hurting college football, you know, the product that they put on the field. And also it makes the NCAA look so silly every time they do these things, you know, the stuff that they let people get away with and then the stuff that they end up busting people for. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. I, I do agree. Uh, Georgia goes on to face Mizzou this weekend, 23rd ranked team in the country, uh, and they still have to get through Auburn and Georgia Tech to finish out the season, all top 25 ranked teams. Auburn could be the number one ranked team by that point based off last Saturday's ridiculousness that happened in college football. But without Todd Gurley, that's a major blow. Uh, yeah, Florida State won without Jameis Winston, uh, but I don't know if Georgia can win without the best running back in the country in Todd Gurley. Just bring back AJ Green and they'll just throw the whole <laughs>